So normally I wake up around 6.30 in the morning and I go for a run because otherwise it gets way too hot because I'm here in the peak of summer. Uh, this is what I'm wearing today, it's not my usual sports top because all my clothes were in the wash. I'm about to buy some new running shoes actually. In Japan you have to wear a mask, um, even outdoors. Though I normally take mine off when I'm actually running and other people seem to do that too. And here are some views from my run. I do the same run every day, just up and down the river. It's flat, it's easy, I like repetition. So I've seen lots of these uh, herons. I even saw a snake one time, it was really exciting. Uh, this turtle was really cool. I even saw some kids put a tiny one on a tech deck. It was really awesome. Lots of dogs in hats, uh, a meerkat, and a giant salamander. So that was a really cool thing to see. They only come onto land about once a month. Um, yeah, so rare. I, I was bewildered by this. So just a quick run today because I was running late. And then obviously a quick shower afterwards. Then I had to really quickly put my washing on. Uh, so the laundry is down on the bottom floor of this hotel apartment complex. Uh, it costs about $3 per wash and normally <laughs> once I've loaded it up I push the start button and I run away because it makes very loud scary noises. Uh, for some reason my fan like drips water onto the like hot plate. It's a, it's a little bit concerning, but I think for now we're just going to ignore that problem and hope that it doesn't drip onto any of my food. So this is what I make for breakfast, French toast. I make it nearly every day. Uh, you just need some milk, eggs, butter, and of course bread. So first just mix an egg and a splash of milk into a bowl. Uh, the bread in Japan is quite different to the bread in Australia. It, you buy it in a packet of five slices and it's really big, it's really thickly cut, it's a little bit sweet actually. But it turns out that this is really good for making French toast, so it works well for me. I decided to pour myself a glass of this yogurt drink, I think. Uh, I haven't seen it in Australia, but it's pretty good and supposedly it's good for you. I also wanted to try this uh, coffee mix. Uh, it ended up being really sweet. like like sickeningly sweet so I won't be I won't be drinking any more of that but um it's good to try these things once the bread has soaked up all of the mixture then you just fry it up um, you can pour the excess on top it's really quite quick and easy to make Uh, then I had to quickly hang out my washing and this is how I have to do it, you know, making the most of the space that we have. I didn't want to put my clothes through the dryer. This is what I was wearing today. Usually I have about a 10 minute walk to the bus and then a 20 or 30 minute bus ride and then a, another short walk and that's how I get to uni every day. One thing I just do not comprehend about uh, the labs in Japan is the frequent shoe changing, but we'll come back to that. Uh, I got into the lab and then I realized that there was nothing for me to actually do right now, so I decided to go downstairs and get a coffee. Admiring the view of Kyoto University's famous clock tower. This is my little setup while I called Wes. He was very excited to show me his little brother's back again. <laughs> and then it was time to give a presentation about Australia and this is how it went. Yeah, we have a lot of exports including sheep and goats and we have a lot of exports including sheep and very handsome men. We've also got some pretty funny landmarks, so they're big. Um, so my majors are sort of in biology, chemical biology, and also evolution. Um, in my spare time, I like to photograph wildlife. <laughs> so in the red, you can see our desert. 
And this is essentially my favorite habitat because it's so interesting. You see some really lovely sunsets and sunrises. Um, this is a Woma python. They're really cute. And these are some of the wildlife that you might see in our grasslands. So this is a brown snake. It's the second most venomous snake in the world. <laughs> I haven't actually seen a koala, but apparently they're pretty common. Um, they're not that cool anyway. <laughs> Um, and another unique point, as both Helena and Bridget have pointed out, is its focus on research, um, especially within undergraduates. So there's lots and lots of opportunities for research um, with some really, really great academics. So after the presentations were done, we got a quick cafeteria lunch. Uh, they're really convenient and really cheap too. And then it was time to go back into the lab. So I went into the office, had a quick look at what I had to do for the day. Um, <laughs> lots of DNA sequence analysis. And then I had to change shoes to walk up to the lab, change shoes again, realised that I didn't have the key, change shoes, walk back down to the office, change shoes to get the key. Change shoes again to walk back outside. Change shoes again to get into the lab. And then I could actually do my lab work. And so today I was just making a bunch of growth media for the algae that I'm working on. Basically, I'm just giving it all the nutrients that they need to grow. And then my supervisor is just putting it in the autoclave there to sterilize it. Back down to the office we go. Um, one of my lab mates gifted me a mushroom, which was kind. Then it was time to go home for the day. So after I got off the bus, um, I decided that I actually wanted some French toast again. It was really good. It was still sizzling when it came out. I have pancakes nearly every day. It's been awesome. And then it takes about 10 minutes to walk back to the apartment. So I quickly did some planning on my laptop and did my Duolingo so I don't get tracked down. And then I convinced my friends to come for a walk with me. On our way back, we got some takeaway from the shop downstairs while we <laughs> watched a presentation from the director of our program. Um, afterwards, we decided that we wanted a snack, so we <laughs> only had to walk across the road to get to the 7-Eleven. Um, we all got our ice creams, and then we watched Vines for the rest of the night. It was, it was quite fun. And yeah, so I normally go to bed around 10 or 11, depending on uh, when I plan on waking up exactly. And that's a somewhat regular day in my life here in Kyoto, uh, doing research at Kyoto University. I'm here for two months on a scholarship program. Definitely feel free to message me if you want to learn more about it. And uh, hopefully I'll end up making more videos about it. And that's about it, so I'll see you next time.